Yeah, I don't know about this movie. Um, I thought Tig Notaro was pretty miscast. I would have gotten someone like Chris I haven't seen that guy in anything recently. But it's time to hack the movies with Tony and Newt and Crystal. Well, Newt, you did it again. <laughs> you caused another zombie apocalypse. This time you knocked over some weird canister and it turned everything into zombies. Yeah. Poor Raid Shadow Legends the cat turned into a zombie and I had to kill him earlier today. So my cat's dead. That's terrible. A lot of people are dead. Justin died again. <laughs> he somehow always comes back. That's okay. It's like he goes to hell and the devil's like, no, nah, I read no. things about this yeah. guy. Said about <laughs> I read it on Reddit. <sighs> so here we are quarantined in the video store we're once not again. Dead. Huh? We're not dead. We're not dead. And we get to talk about the new Zack Snyder movie, which maybe we're in hell. <laughs> I think we're dead inside. Well, yes. In a weird, in a weird, uh, whatever. Time loop. We are, yeah. Yeah, we're a in a time, time loop. loop. Turn of what events, the what's the phrase? In a weird turn of events? Uh, I was yes. going to say Lemony Snicket in a yeah. series of unfortunate we're, we're, events. We're talking oh, about a Zack Snyder movie that Newt doesn't like. Yeah. Is this the only one you don't like? I've never seen the Guardians of Ga'ul. But you would probably love it. I, I like owls. Well, there you go. There you go. Yeah. So Newt loves every Zack Snyder movie. I have to rewatch uh, Sucker Punch. I've only seen it once. Okay. He loves 300. He says it's historically accurate. There's nothing wrong with 300. He said. That's what I. Yeah, I did say that. Yep. And I said, I said, Newt, I I don't know if they have goat heads over there. And he he punched me. Yeah. Ten, I said I saw I heard about a <laughs> ten foot tall elephant. Yes. Yep. Well, ten foot actually sounds about right. Okay. You, you heard about a 50 foot elephant. That'd be a weird one. I also never learned numbers. So. <laughs> yes, there yeah. you go. So, yes, we're talking about. <sighs> we're off to a great start. <laughs> Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead. Yes. Yeah. Now, we did his Dawn of the Dead recently. Mm -hmm. Still holds up. Yep. Still holds up. Yep. It's great. Crystal, do you like that movie? I do. I really do. I think it was fun. It was nice. Yeah. So, I was excited to see him come back to the zombie genre. It had a great trailer with it, the Kenny Rogers yeah, song. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, he kind of. Kind of stumbled a little bit with the superhero genre, not for everyone, but financially, it, he didn't do that well with it. Uh, but this movie also proves that, like, as much as the studio interfered, maybe that was a good thing. Because when he was given full credit, yeah. as soon as I saw written by Zack Snyder, I went, uh oh, oh. Not just written, directed, written, storyboard artist. Yep. He did storyboard all of it himself. Yeah. Cinematographer mm -hmm. and B camera operator. Yes. Yeah. That's too much but control. Because of Robert Netflix. That's what happened is Netflix went to him and said, hey, you have full control of anything you want to mm -hmm. do. They said, hey, just, you know what? Make sure there's nothing weird like dead pixels on the screen. You'll be good. You have $90 million. I said to Justin. 90 million. <laughs> How would you release a movie I with said, dead pixels? I said to Justin, I was like, maybe the dead pixels were a creative choice because zombies, zombies are dead. No. <laughs> and then I looked it up. I was like, oh, Dead Pixels would be a really good name for a horror yeah. video game show, but it's cool. already. So, for those of you who don't know, oh. Dead Pixel is when a pixel is dead on the camera mm -hmm. sensor. I think there's other reasons for it. Yeah. It happens, okay? It happens. It's happened to us. It, yeah. We had them on uh, when we were shooting Midnight Show. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when we did um, uh, some for of the which? stuff we shot At for the our. Theater. Some of the stuff we shot for our secret project. Oh, yeah. Um, I noticed there were a couple of Dead Pixels there. Luckily, a lot of it was on tripods, so they were easy to paint out. Mm -hmm. uh, they happen. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, what when they usually don't happen is when you have 90 to $100 million and millions of yeah. those dollars are being used to digitally paint out an actor from the film <laughs> and yeah. green screen someone in. If you're doing that for your movie... You can hire someone to paint out frame by frame those dead pixels. Hey, not for nothing, but the fucking painted in Tig Notaro looks way better than the removed mustache in Justice League. So yeah, they uh, they 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 did all that work. Yeah. And by the way, dead pixels aside, the movie looks like shit. Uh, uh, <laughs> it was weird because he he apparently bought a shit ton of uh, sixty millimeter. Um, lenses because he wanted it to have like a disoriented feel for 35 millimeter and then Zack Snyder went to red the cameras yeah. yes. and created these new things 
fine. Like, he wanted to give it that 60s look, like a Vegas 60s movie, like Ocean's Eleven, the original yeah. one, not the George yeah. Clooney one, you know? Yeah. Or the, the, wasn't it the second one where Julia Roberts exists in a world where yeah, there's Julia that Roberts? Was weird. Yeah, that was weird. Um, I was really excited when I heard about this. I saw the trailer. I'm like, yeah. oh, that looks fun. I love heist movies. Yeah. And I like what he did with Dawn of the Dead. And I was like, mm-hmm. put those two things together. And it's like peanut butter and chocolate. Mm. Two good things oh. that go good together. Yeah. And this had things in it that I liked, yep. but not enough things in it that I like. And I said to you earlier today, because you went home. I watched it last night after our premiere. <laughs> and you went home to watch it today. And you were texting me throughout it. Mm-hmm. I mean, we watch it here in the video store because we keep continuity. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, I was answering it was like, well, you know, with, it looks like shit, but I'm okay with the weird depth of field on stuff and it blurs some lines and it would make that sense. It felt uh, like a college student learning lenses for the first time. Yeah, and Not a, a guy who's made multiple multi-million dollar movies. And this is the thing that like, did he want to go back and do like a, like a grittier looking movie? Because say whatever you want about Zack Snyder. Mm. His movies are very well shot. But he's always had a cinematographer, and the cinematographer yeah. is not involved with this. Is the dude who's the magician on the side of all the buildings? Was it Larry yeah. the magician? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I was like, uh, Yeah. Why didn't you just get? No. Also, okay. He was also redoing Justice League at the exact same yeah. time. Yeah. So I can see that. he's the Alpha and the Omega <laughs> of 2021 <laughs> movies. Um. So we'll get into all this. Um. Real quick though, a warning sign for me that. Something was up with this movie. Yeah. Was one of the ways they promoted it. Mm-hmm. Now, Dave Batista's in this film, Chris. So are you familiar with his? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Okay. You know, he was a wrestler, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. So uh, a couple weeks ago was mm-hmm. WrestleMania Backlash. Did you watch that? I didn't. Well, there was a lumberjack match between uh, The Miz okay. and Damian Priest. Yeah. Uh, and John I Morrison. I love The Miz, by the way. I really want him to be Johnny Cage. And that's the only reason I'll watch Mortal Kombat. Which too. one is The Miz? Mike Mizanin? Is he a guy who wears a mask? No. no. Oh. Anyway. He's a pretty boy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We don't have time. Like for Tony. This. Oh, yeah. If yeah, anything, that's why Tony's I prettier. To him. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Uh-huh. So they had a lumberjack match. You know what that is? That's when uh, there's wrestlers on the outside of the ring. So if someone gets thrown out of the oh, ring. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they beat up. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Before WrestleMania started, Dave Batista tweeted, I'm not going to make it to Backlash, but some of my friends will. And then John Morrison opened up a room full of zombies. So during the match, the lumberjacks were zombies. You were sending me pictures while I was, I was out at the bar. They even had an Elvis zombie. Yeah. So it was a zombie lumberjack match. And then when Damien Priest won, he does the thing where he pretends to shoot an arrow and yeah, then his okay, name he, shows yep, up at yep. fire. He did it, but it was like Army of the Dead comes out, blah, blah, blah. So Justin and I are at the bar and Tony's sending me that and I'm showing him my phone. He's like, why do you talk to him? <laughs> you, just, you could just walk away. It's like with Bad Max, just walk away. Yeah. So, so. <laughs> that was an actual thing. Why? Why? See, that, I grew up. Why? Look, WWE has all of a sudden, too, like, what was it? For WrestleMania, it was all Snickers? Yeah. Like, well, Snickers, it's always, was Snickers always. But it was like, I don't know, maybe just this year I paid more attention because yeah. you could actually hear an audience this time. Yeah. But, oh my God. Yeah, was it so, a that was a weird way to promote the movie. And that's what I was like. Ha, huh, if they're stupid to this level, I wonder how the movie is. I did say to you, though, I do like Batista as an actor because mm-hmm. I he's like a lot of guys who are wrestlers or turn actors, yeah. Hulk Hogan, uh, uh, The Rock, people like that. They're always like a leading man guy. And Batista feels to me like the first like character actor. You know, it was wrestler. good. He was never he, he was playing tough guy yeah. roles. Before he was Before a leading drafts. man, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. like like he worked his way up to it. it wasn't just like you're a big wrestler. Here's a multi million dollar movie. Like, I liked him in Blade Runner twenty forty nine. I he was one of the few things in the last Bond movie that I liked. I fucking hated that last Bond. I didn't movie. mind it, but yeah, he was good. Uh, in it. He was good in it. Yeah, uh, but, but he was yeah. supposed. Apparently, he turned down the role to be in Suicide Squad he was gonna be, for yeah. this. But apparently, also James Gunn was supposed to write this and, and turned it down yeah. for. Yep. Suicide Squad. So it was well, just a weird. Well, he switch. he was in, he was in a he was in a pickle at that point. Yeah, yeah I know, I know, um, I know. So yeah, the movie begins. Yes. Are they leaving Area Fifty One? So hold on. Yes. So this movie yes. was announced in two thousand seven. 
Right. And it was in development until the Justice League shit happened. And then Warner Brothers is like, nope, we're not helping you anymore. Yeah. And then Netflix swooped in uh-huh. and took it. And it makes sense because there's like, it's an event movie. This mm-hmm. is something that could play in a theater if when movie theaters were still a thing. And uh, I, I get it why they're buying these kind of tentpole movies. Like a lot of people were talking about it and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so the movie begins at Area 51 and there's orbs in the sky. Yeah, but yes, only right are. then and there. And I'm like, are those Well, no, UFOs? there's twice. Also, they're in uh, when, when uh, he's Zeus on- is looking at the city. Yes. Yeah. There's three orbs in the sky there as well. Huh. Spoiler alert, the zombies are part alien. I don't know yeah. if they're actually but I don't know if they're actually alien because it also no. It why make, does why do they have to be aliens just because they're at Area Fifty One? That's not just aliens. Where maybe it was a um, they're well, doing an experiment. And it's no, a because that's why the, they were basically looking for. Again, this movie is just aliens, basically. Yeah. Um, they, oh, there's a lot of aliens yeah, references in yeah. this. Yeah, especially at the but, end. Um, I, I assume that it's like an alien human hybrid thing that they're doing. Like in X Files. In the X Files, yeah. And there's black goo. Um, like in X Files. Oh, what is that one? Oh, that's the, it's okay. a compilation I was like, of episodes. Which, oh, cool. Yeah, we should one day talk that. about the terrible second movie where they oh, just wanted to fuse no. the not? gay Russian no. guy's head to the, his lover's no. body, but they te- they che- they tease the movie that it was going to be about a werewolf. Yeah. But then the writer strike happened. Yeah. So going back, so they're the, this truck drivers are leaving Area Fifty One and yeah. they're having a conversation about like. What do you think we're carrying from Area 51? Maybe it's the staff of Ra. Maybe it's yeah. the, and they they, they 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 go, whoa, don't say don't say aliens, but might be the grill. What grill? Not that grill. I felt like I was reading one of your scripts because it was so because your so script. Good. No. <laughs> <laughs> No. All right. Because you do that stuff on purpose. Mm-hmm. You write the stuff like, this is so obviously bad. I'm going to literally say what is happening in the script. And I was like, this is literally a Newt script where they're so like, this is something for 51. So would Newt write, would would Newt write uh, a married couple doing getting like roadhead yes. in the script? Okay. Uh, yeah, that I mean, also is something he would definitely write. Tony, Tony. I had to take out the scene in Sharkula <laughs> where the girl turns into a shark monster and before she bites the guy's dick off, she says, chum shot and bites his dick off. And then Ryan and Justin were like, maybe we don't do that. <laughs> but this yeah. is also the at least the third script he has done that kind of thing in. Yeah. Because eventually it's going to get made. How many times do you want someone biting off someone's dick? I have a fetish. Also, I, thought, I did think yeah. it was interesting that the girl, well, Pretty on point. The girl instigated the roadhead. What what is up with chicks wanting to do roadhead? I never. I've been offered it so many times, and I'm like, no. I'd like to like Wait. make it to my destination. Is Tony telling me he's he turns down roadhead? Well, he's there's so many women that want Tony. Yeah. When you are a Who buff. The- Fuck turns down Roadhead. A guy who wants to make it safely to his destination and not I die. I live my life one half mile at a time, Tony, and it all only takes me a half mile to come. So, <laughs> but it's it's it's, only, it's 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 like a chick thing. I don't. I get it's dangerous and stuff, but it's like I rather not. One time, um, around Fourth. No, of, one time around Fourth no. of July, there was like a lot of traffic going towards Rutgers, New Brunswick, no. and some girl did it while we were in traffic, but like parked or something like that. That's fine, but like while driving, I don't get it. Mm-hmm. I, I guess I'm boring. I don't know. I think anyway, you're boring. But uh, also, if you can't handle it, it's okay to say, "Hey, I can't do this because I literally can't." Or it starts, and you're like, "Oh shit, gotta pull over," because that happens as well. I just want to be able to enjoy it and not be like, oh, wow, I better make sure I don't like run into like a fucking person. On I, the side I uh, finished like my whole body just turns off like I have the blue screen of death yeah. and my hands shake and I can't see and I can't stand up straight. So that I but every time I'm just like, if we're going to die, we're going out together and it's your family that's going to have to deal with it. <laughs> so anyway, Roadhead starts the zombie apocalypse. Yeah. Well, Roadhead and Pithy Dialogue yes. starts the zombie apocalypse. I, mean, I had a problem with this right away. Yeah. Uh, that truck just being completely destroyed by that shitty car ramming and into the, it. And now. they're the four horsemen. Well, that's a whole other thing. Yeah. By the way, that truck is very similar to the one in Dark Knight Rises, that movie I'm in. Wait, and you're Bat- in Dark Knight Rises? I am. Oh, wow. And Batman, it took Batman forever to get that truck. And he didn't even stop it. He had to, like, shoot things at it. Batman forever? Yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> 
what are our tax dollars going to? I yeah, thought the American military would build a stronger car. Well, right? Especially yeah. for Area 51. So yeah, yeah, so they're driving and they're having their pithy conversation while this dude's getting uh, a road uh, blowy J. And um, they hit each other because neither one of them is paying attention. Yeah. And it releases the payload. Yeah. Uh, and they're just like, the door's broken. And they're like, get away from it, get away from it. And like a zombie man comes out. And by zombie, <sighs> you mean a Xbox 360 era pixelated man who sounds like a werewolf mixed with a velociraptor. Yeah. 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 When he's taking yeah. out like all the soldiers in that wide shot, I'm like, this looks like the Incredible Hulk game from well, 2008. They, did you see awful. they created this thing where um, there's like a making of after the movie and they're wearing like a backpack and they're just, it's basically tracking their movements in that way and there's no camera. And then they just input the, uh, the pack into the computer and that's how they did them. Well, it looks like shit. Yeah. So that. they probably shouldn't have done that. Yeah. No. So then they, uh, the two soldiers who get away go out onto the moors, basically, like American well, Werewolf in London. They, yeah, they yeah. recreated that. I noticed yeah. that. But why didn't they get into their truck and drive away? They, they had functional vehicles. Instead, oh, yeah, they, they ran on foot. To the moors after those guys at the slaughtered lamb told them to stay <laughs> off the moors. And they... It, uh, Crystal, because the movie had to happen. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. So then they get bit, and then they turn into zombies quickly. It was pretty cool. I liked when his jaw got ripped off, yeah. and then he came back as a zombie he looked like, without um, a jaw. I thought it was... I liked that effect. Dr. Dr. Tongue, Tongue, yeah. From, uh, or like the yeah. dude in Joyride when Rusty Nail ripped his jaw. Oh, yeah. And Lily Sobieski and Steve Zahn go to see him. Yeah. Was Paul Walker in that movie, too? Yeah, that was he a was. good movie. Okay, all right. Good movie. Um... Yeah, then Richard Cheese, I guess, starts playing. Which the, the opening title sequence is great. That I was like, okay, guy, okay. I, I texted him. I was like, this is going to be a fantastic movie. I There's... love it. I'm so excited. Soon as I saw topless showgirl zombies, yeah. I was like, this is my, and the music in the background. Mm -hmm. What was it? Uh, Viva La Vegas. Viva was Las playing. Vegas. Yeah, that's and a I was like, pretty, this is amazing. Huh? It's pretty misogynistic and exploited. Once too. again, <laughs> I absolutely love the opening. I thought yeah. this was going to be the best movie ever. I was like, this is going to have that feel throughout well, the Well, I wrote a thing. strongly lettered tweet to Netflix saying, <laughs> stop degrading women. Okay. Wait, why is that degrading? Moving on. Free no, the no, nipples. No, 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 no. Free the why nipples. Is, why is that degrading? Because girls want to show their freaking boobs. The internet said that uh, if women are attractive and men find them attractive, that it's offensive. Oh. Oh. The but, then, also, but, then, but, but then they also said that the women that men don't find attractive actually are attractive. And But then the internet also, also said that Star Wars prequels are good. So I'm getting a lot of mixed messages from this. So is the internet always right or is it wrong? Or well, The on. internet once said I was going to get fired and then it never yeah. happened. Well, hold on. The internet is right when they say good things about me, but the internet's wrong when they say I talk over you and the show's better without me on it. Yes. Oh, so... Most people moving on. <laughs> moving on. I'll talk over you that time. <laughs> so yeah, there is some magical realism in this movie. Yeah, like the guy singing while the zombie apocalypse mm -hmm. is happening. That There's is another Liberace. Yeah, yeah, he looks like Liberace. There was a supposed to be this gag where Zack Snyder had to cut. Oh, by it. the way, this whole thing goes on way too long. A little bit. Continue. Sorry. <sighs> Are you done? <laughs> Can I speak? I didn't say a word. <laughs> Newt, can I speak? Is this okay? You're fine. You can go ahead and Thank talk. Thank you. This is Revenge for the Evil Dead episode. Anyway, <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Um, so there was a crude uh, visual gag, apparently, where there was going to be a male stripper with a huge dick that was going to be bitten off. But they said they had to cut it because I was going too far. Oh, wow. I, but, but women, showing women's fine. But yeah, well, but it was their tits. It wasn't their freaking vajay head. Yeah, now. but Zack Snyder's never been a guy who does like sexual stuff in his movies. I think movies. that would have been great. I mean, he did make it, a he did make a giant blue penis in Watchmen. Well, yeah, but that's that from the comic. Fantastic. And then I guess It is from the comic. Yeah, and I get well, I mean, yeah, cuz even them having sex in the owl ship yeah. is from the comic, but he's never been a guy who like works blue. Oh no, he tried to make doggy style romantic in 300. That's not a romantic sex move. You don't use that move for romance in a movie. <laughs> no. Dogs do. <laughs> well, dogs do. <laughs> dogs aren't really romantic. Well, I've never seen that in three, and I love 300, yeah. but I remember when the, the queen is getting doggy style in slow motion. I'm like, that 
That's you not what you do, use. No. <laughs> what it wasn't it in uh, Knocked Up where he's like doggy style. He's like, it's not like we're not we don't have to do it in the yard. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, doggy style is when you bend her over, you take, you pull her hair back a little bit. And you well, just that have, part, that yeah. part's well, optional. Yeah, yeah. no, oh. or you choke, you know, whatever. There's a whole. Yeah. There's so both a lot those of parts are optional, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I guess oh. I'm just a little bit more passionate than yeah. you. Yeah. In the beginning, I thought like it was Batista's wife and daughter who get killed by that crate but it's not which was awesome that i was do pretty. like in the opening yeah. title sequence though where they're like standing in front of like a school photo background with the yeah thing. i liked yeah, that. Yeah, that the previous cool. life and now yeah. they're like zombie hunters or whatever and he saved like the se uh, secretary of state yeah or whatever mm -hmm. our defense secretary yeah. he saved him and something happened i, I, mean, some I like team. when the guy parachutes like what was he thinking was gonna happen i don't know what was happening was like, there why did they think that was gonna be any but i like how the parachute covered the zombies and then blood just starts spraying yeah. <laughs> there was so much blood in this opening yeah like, it was fantastic i said so much and what was it there's another one there was a lot of blood just gushing everywhere when they shoot the guy the zombie standing on top of the car yes. and it's obviously a fake body and i was yeah. like that was cool. this is great yeah and then you're kind of like you're liking this like this badass mom she think that she loses her daughter because mm -hmm. she finds her sweater but it really wasn't her she was fine and they create this whole scene where you're like oh my god and then all of a sudden they get squished and they die and you're like so many feelings in this one yeah, opening yeah because they, they basically they wall off Vegas with yeah. like trailers yeah basically with, yeah storage containers and, uh, and this woman is making her a run for it she has her daughter or who we think is her daughter and then like she gets attacked by zombies and the daughter runs back to her and they just fucking drop the trailer yeah. on her I and just that's said that's what happened yeah. no I know but I'm just saying like in the context of you have to re-explain re what I just said? Batista's working at a restaurant or something. He's flipping burgers. He's flipping burgers. Mm -hmm. And then, um, what's his name? Hiroyuki oh. Sanada yeah. mm -hmm. shows up. Uh, and he's like, I'm going to hire you, Batista. Uh, you're going to do a heist, get a team together. I have to go do a glorified cameo in Mortal Kombat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, because they're going to nuke. They're going to nuke. They're yeah. going to nuke Vegas. Newt's favorite cameo happens. Sean Spicer, I think, shows Which up. Which was weird. Very weird that Sean Spicer. You put it in here. I did yeah. put excited that. about it. I, only because I was like, oh, okay. But what was Sean, he? Former White House press secretary? Press secretary. Yeah. He's also the mortal enemy of Dippin' Dots. What? So there was when, when that, when he got his job, um... All these things came out from the Washington Nationals, the baseball team, mm. that apparently he had a long running feud with the, the Dippin' Dots Twitter page. And Dippin' Dots was like, we have no idea what's going on. And then the Washington Nationals baseball team was like, we have no idea what's going on. But I guess it's, I mean, I, I don't want to say I agree with him, but like they said it's the ice cream of the future. But like, I saw that shit in 1990 on the boardwalk in Wildwood, and it's still not the ice cream, so those guys are fucking liars. <laughs> so in this case, I kind of agree with Sean Spicer. It was that and that's going to be the teaser for the episode. <laughs> Just you going, I kind of agree with well, Sean Spicer. Well, that's going to get rid of all the people who call me a fucking libtard, so... <laughs> was that really the fight? Yeah. Yeah. So... The fuck? I know we... If there's one thing about Zack Snyder mm -hmm. that, that he's known for, it's being subtle. <laughs> He's very, very subtle. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, I watch his movies and mm -hmm. I think about it later. I'm like, oh, that's what that meant. Yeah. So anyway, there's a whole problem with immigration and there's an internment camp. <laughs> yeah. And the fucking shades from Luke Cage. Yeah. Is there. I saw mm -hmm. his stupid face. I hate that guy's face. Something yeah. about that guy's face. It's, just, it's a very punchable face. The Arosi's character. Mm -hmm. So what? What was happening? Why were there people in internment camps? They were displaced from the city when the city got overrun. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So they just got thrown in internment camps? Yeah, and it's like I It was weird. I've, I didn't I've like never it. sorry. I've never been to Las Vegas, but I've been to like the area outside of it. Yeah. And it's like there's towns and shit. Yeah, it's not that vacant as yeah. they made it seem. Mm -hmm. It's like, really they not. They wouldn't house them right there. They wouldn't house them right that there, and whole, that's the and they were uh, transferring them to another place in California because of the nuclear bomb that the was going to go. Right, that was right. happening. Yeah, but also, wouldn't that spread a lot quicker if something happened? I, maybe it's because I'm reading the fucking stand right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. It's taking me months to read it. Yeah, but that because it's like a phone book. <laughs> it's Bible pages yeah. in a phone book. Mm -hmm. Um. It happens like this, it spreads. Yeah. Like that, it spreads. Yeah. So don't you think if that got out, that would have already been Wiped out other... that entire thing, yeah. yeah. But it would have also, go it would have wiped out all of Vegas, and then everyone that travels mm -hmm. 
It's I, I get it. it. It looks like as soon but, as they died, then they guess, turned to zombies. But it's it would have spread so much faster to but other it's, places. But it's okay it wouldn't have just been contained yeah. that fast. They have the head scanners that you have if you want to go to the movies now. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. a thermometer. To be fair, this movie yeah, was made. Yeah, yeah, this but movie was made. It's a thermometer, but it's a yeah. head scanner thing. They're now called head scanners. That's what I call them. So Batista has PTSD because mm -hmm. he killed his wife. Yeah, yeah, and his. Daughter. Stepdaughter, and I couldn't. Yeah, they never said it. It almost feels like it because she doesn't. She does call him dad, but, but she also she, sort of looks more. like The mom was like white, yeah, and the daughter looks like she's more like what is Batista? I don't know. I think he's just white too. Just is he? Tan. Yeah. Oh, because she does say you Florida killed my mom. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. You she said you killed my mom, and then she calls him Scott, but then she calls him dad, and I was like, is it a stepdaughter or not? Because it was kind of weird. I so, used to call my mom Anne when I was mad at her, though. Yeah. You're an asshole. I know. Yeah. Uh, anyway, he has PTSD from mm -hmm. that. He's very upset about it. And yeah. also, she works at the camp. Yes. And they're talking about how there's a coyote that can bring people in. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's a coyote? Um, it's uh, Acme's number one, uh, uh, you know, buyer. Yeah. You know yeah. what Coyote Ugly is? That was the movie with uh, Piper Parabo. But do you know what that meant? They dance on the bar. That's not what it meant. But that was it the meant movie. when you're when you get so drunk and you end up sleeping with someone so you ugly, you know your arm off okay, instead yeah. of waking them up. That movie was like uh, uh, was ghost written by Kevin Smith. I loved that. Movie. It was a good movie. Yeah, Crystal. You know what a coyote is? An animal. Okay, so he so he's the Roadrunner's number one. So so oh okay. So last year mm -hmm. during the president presidential debates, a pr the president mentioned coyotes bringing people across the border, and I had never heard that term before. What? I have before. So I, I was it. like I was like coyote, and I was like oh you know what they're talking about immigration and border stuff. Let me type in coyote border. I'm like oh. Found the answer right there. Coyote is someone who brings, you know, yeah. he like brings people across the border mm -hmm. and things oh, across I the border. Oh, I have never heard of that. Okay, okay. Yeah. So everyone on Twitter <laughs> also didn't hear about that. They thought it meant the animal. Like yes. there were trained coyotes. Yes. So everyone's like, did he really just say that animals are bringing people across well, the border? It could have also been the Arizona hockey team on yes. their skates was yeah. helping Mexicans across the border. That was one of the, the funniest things. Because like, literally I'm like, oh, I don't know that term. Let me look it up. And then everyone else was like, Coyotes can't bring people. <laughs> coyotes can buy rocket skates. <laughs> fucking Tony. Who do you think you fucking are telling coyotes what they can and can't do? You specious. <laughs> <laughs> so Anna de la Regioria is in this. Which the Spanish one? lady. Yeah, which one was she? Gita. She was the, yeah, she was like the, the main Spanish lady with oh, Batista. Oh, from. Uh, oh, with Batista's Maria. Yeah. Eastbound and Down. Yeah, she's from Eastbound and yeah. Down and Nacho Libre. And Twin Peaks. The new one, yes, right. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. I really like her. So uh, did cool you scene. have you ever watched Eastbound and Down? Yes, I actually it's fucking great. That's Eastbound where and Down's I, pretty that's great. What the reminds me of your uh, Florida man. Yes, script. the second season yes. when he goes to it's Mexico and there's the big dumb guy and Deep Roy. Yeah. And I'm it's like, so this is amazing. Oh, Flamo Blanca. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Uh, if you've never watched Eastbound and Down, go so watch bad. it. The last episode alone where Lindsay Lohan's in it, yeah. she's making a comeback. I always thought that she would stay down far enough that eventually I would get internet famous enough to date Lindsay Lohan. No. Well, you probably had a shot after she was like chasing that Middle Eastern family, speaking in their accent, accusing them of stealing kids. I missed my chance. When they were just a family just It's walking. like when Fergie was addicted to meth, I missed my chance. <laughs> so anyway. he uh, She's Fergalicious, I don't know. Yeah. So he recruits her. And then uh, he recruits the other guy who had a soul in the beginning. That dude's That's badass. Van, uh, yeah, he is. Yeah. What's his name? Um, Vandero. Vandero? Vandero. Vandero. Show. Sure. Art Vandalo. Van. Yeah. And, uh, Van. you know, he's coming out of retirement now. Mm -hmm. So he, he digs up his barrel full of guns. And it's like barrel in the desert and also digging up your guns like they just merge Breaking Bad with John Wick. And I was also thinking a little bit of Terminator 3. A little bit, Remember yeah. Remember the casket, yeah. Linda Hamilton's well, casket? We also have two different mm -hmm. stories going on, too, at this time, because you didn't mention how Gita, who is at the camp, wants to go in. So she, oh, I yeah. was building so up to that, and then I forgot. Okay. Yeah. So that happened before that. So you yeah. have two groups of people that need to go into yeah. the Vegas circle. Which is where my problem with this movie comes from. It's really pick one or the other. Because <sighs> yes, if you're, I agree. Everybody who got mad at me on Facebook for saying, eh, it wasn't that good, is like, you just got to turn your brain off. And I'm like, yeah, I get that. But if it's a turn your brain off kind of movie, then you remove all the melodrama and the on the no, nose this is social not commentary. A, all right, so tone is a big issue with this. Yeah. I agree. There are things in this that would work in a comedy and things that 
that were working a straight up action. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of the movie's fucking boring. Though. Yeah. Yeah. There are long stretches. And when the melodrama action. scenes kick in, they use they that when it's serious, yeah. the 90210 music they use when it gets serious. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever see, um, you've seen Mall Rats, right? Yeah. When they do like the serious scene between Shannon Doherty and him and they use that music and it's just the stock 90210 yeah. serious music. And then one of the guys they're recruiting is really good at killing zombies and he's got social media. He has a whole Reddit dedicated to him. I and think. I've heard like, you know, they said, oh, you must, you don't know what it's like to have a whole re- subreddit. And I'm like, I'm like that handsome Spanish man because there's a whole subreddit dedicated to me of people who like me. So, Crystal, I warned him so many times. The people who are being nice to him on Reddit, (laughs) they're doing it to try to piss me off. And I know this because that one Reddit that hates me used to think I was the least worst person in the world. And then they change their mind. And I keep telling you, I'm like, dude, they're going to switch on you. I'm least worse than you. Yes, yes. I'm least worse than Tony. You got that? Me <laughs> it's less that worse, up. but anyway. I'm going to talk over you. You guys are so famous and popular. <laughs> yeah. Where were all the interior shot for this film? AC. Yep. Atlantic City. Yes. Yep. And because I said to Justin, um, I was like, well, zombie torn Vegas looks in the future, yeah. looks like Atlantic City now. Yes. Yeah, last time I was in <laughs> Atlantic City, I didn't realize how many things closed because. PA and a couple mm-hmm. other states decided to start their own casinos. Yeah. Yeah. And then fucking everyone bailed out of so Atlantic I, City. I used, to, I used to live in Wildwood, New Jersey, which is the opposite mm. end. It's one city away, one town away from the edge of yeah. the city of the state. Um, and I played ice hockey in Atlantic City. So yeah. I would have to drive to Atlantic City, which was like an hour drive. Mm. And like the fact that they never made an escape from Atlantic City movie with Snake Plissken is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. uh, but it's it's awful. So uh, two Fridays ago, Kieran, Justin, uh, you, mm-hmm. I, we went down there. For I the, wasn't invited. You, you Tony, weren't invited. No, we made it quite clear when we got in the van. I said, well, is Tony invited? Justin started the van and just drove <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't invited. So we went to the opening of a place called the Lucky Snake Arcade. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's an arcade that's in the showboat, which is where the AC Horror Con was that we go to and we have a table. Mm-hmm. And um, a lot of the uh, casinos in Atlantic City are empty now. So mm-hmm. they filmed it there. And apparently while they're, they haven't, a lot of them have closed since 2014. So they had to like run the, the uh, air in there to get all the fucking mold and shit out of it to go put... <laughs> Batista in there. But um, so last, the two Fridays ago when we were there, I saw something amazing. Yeah. So uh, I'm Marshall, who's uh, a friend of ours. He's yes. always around. He was Spider Man in the AVGN uh, Fear and Loathing episode. Right. He, uh, he and I walk off from everybody and we're having a conversation and we're looking at the video games. They had some when cool video this? games. When was this? This was the night before you got there. Oh, okay. And there's a guy with a giant snake. Oh, I There's saw the a picture. Giant of this. snake. Oh, I and know this like going. he's putting it on people, and they're taking pictures and stuff like that. So he puts it on Marshall. I take Marshall's picture. He goes to lift it off, and the snake goes like this, and then he goes like this, and he holds it down. The snake shit all over the casino floor, and I know every animal has to release. Yeah, their bowels. I'd never thought about in forty years of being alive how a snake shits before. You've never seen a reptile shit? No, it was oh, amazing. Yeah. I had iguanas and stuff. Okay, but I've seen what it they was, do. It was literally like I couldn't stop talking about it for the rest of the no. night because I'm like, yeah. wasn't that cool? The entire time, it's it like, was, I can't believe I seen a snake shit on the ground, and I was like, it was, it was amazing. So what? that was probably the greatest thing I've. It's like uh, someone seeing like a child, their child being born. Yeah. I saw a big snake. You just poop. compared a human birth, yeah, to yeah. a snake. Taking a shit. Pink and brown eyes. It's all yes. the same. <laughs> so, last time I was in AC, mm-hmm. I uh, went by the, uh, what is it, Trump Plaza, Trump Tower? Yeah. And I looked in, it was closed. And I saw this really, really nice couch just sitting there. So, of course, I open up Twitter. And I was like, at President Donald Trump. I'm like, hey, um, I took a picture. I'm like, hey, are you using this couch? I noticed it's mm-hmm. in here. I'm more than willing to take it. Can you let me in to get this couch? He never answered me. And I want you to know that did influence my vote in the last well, election. Why you voted for Kanye. Yes. Last <laughs> time we were in AC before that, I was super drunk and Crystal left her glasses at our table. So I was like, I'll go get them. But they That's put, how drunk I The was. convention floor, like they closed it off with like this gate and I'm scaling it at two o'clock in the morning and I fell out. I have a permanent chip on my tailbone. My, uh, <gasps> we I, like, I like to think 
the day Trump lost his Twitter, mm -hmm. he was going through. And, and he he's saw like, that, he's and he like, went to go respond to it, and they were like. He's like, oh my god, somebody wants this couch. Let me respond. Oh no. Like, I'm sorry, Tony. <laughs> um, yeah, so they, uh, the team's now assembled. Yeah. They got Tignatara. No, you didn't even finish the team. Oh yeah, Tignatara. You literally, no, you also, you missed two people. There was Crystal, the, we got two reviews to go yeah. tonight. <laughs> there was Vasquez have, from Aliens. Yes. So you have, yeah, you have Peters, who is, yeah, yeah. which we just said, and then you have Dieter. The German guy. The German guy. Yes, the safe cracker. Yeah, mm -hmm. and yeah. you have the locksmith, yeah. And Tignatara. And Tignatara, Tignatara who, had, yes, is who is the best is, character his, in the movie. Is Peters, yeah. So here's my idea. Um, I want there to be a movie now where it's the Prince and the Pauper, but it's Tignatara and Tom Cruise see each other, and Tom Cruise is tired of being Tom Cruise, so he and Tignatara switch spots. He would never you agree to it. He would never agree. I'm to just it. saying. That would be um, great, though. So they have to go to DC. Like, Tignatara, they're just like, they're like, it's like $2 million, and she's like, oh, yeah, no, I don't even care what it is. I hate my life so deeply. If I had $2 million, my life would change drastically. She clearly doesn't, like, it's, she doesn't know what's going on because she had to film all of her scenes by herself. Yeah. And I'm just like, I love this performance so much. Mm. <laughs> I I, she was fantastic. I mm. can't believe she was green screen. That is so And I didn't know insane. who she was until, like, I heard about her taking over the thing. She does, like, a show where she interviews celebrities and has to guess who they are because she doesn't watch TV. Yeah. No, she was. I've seen her stand up. Her stand up. I okay. never saw it. I was like, I don't know who this is. Her but stand up's okay. She was like on the old Sarah Silverman show when Sarah Silverman used yeah. to be funny. Could we uh, like? Could we like digitally insert her into every movie where a sex predator is removed from? Like alleged, wanna, uh, whatever. Like we it put is her. Alleged. I will. I will agree on that. I yeah. have my own opinions about it. So we put her into like. Superman Returns and stuff like that. Like Kevin Spacey's character is well, now Tig Notaro. Uh, oh yeah, uh, Django hired Kevin Spacey. He did. Um, Tig Notaro was in that awful Star Trek Discovery show. So no. Oh. Anyway, uh, so but the whole Doug thing Jones is, is in it. And Doug Jones rocks. He yeah, responded to me on Twitter. He's been in bad <laughs> things before. Yeah. So they have to go into Vegas mm -hmm. and break into a vault, steal a bunch of money for fifty million dollars, yeah. and yes. they all split it very unevenly. Yeah, it goes from oh yeah, yeah we'll split, we'll, we'll get was it fifteen thousand, fifteen thousand, fifteen thousand, and then it goes million, uh, two yeah. million, and then all of a sudden was it the last guy is like oh for twenty thousand, twenty thousand. Yeah. But I like that the like one that. guy just pieces out on them. He's like, wait, there's going to be zombies? Now I'm yeah. out of here. Yeah. And they're doing the whole thing where, this is where the movie tonally is so bizarre. You have the scene where they're all like firing their guns in the 360 and it's like, he's got the thing and it stops and he's like, well, wait, how do you kill a zombie? More stuff like that where it's into how badass it is and then removes yeah. you from it would have been cool. Yes. And the movie has no consistency and this is where I started to come out of it. Yeah, you know? I agree because it does a whole entire scene of what is supposed to happen, how awesome it's going to mm -hmm. be. Hmm. And you kind of want that, but it's with comedy involved with it, but it yeah. takes a total different turn mm -hmm. into yeah. not as great. And then uh, great. Sonata's character says, easy peasy Japanese. <laughs> and then the white character I lectures him. This. I thought that the, was funny The though. white character lectures someone on what <sighs> is and isn't problematic. And then I said, who is this, new? I do like when she got <laughs> Tignatara goes, you can't say that because he is Japanese. -y. And mm -hmm. I was like, okay, that's pretty funny. <sighs> My then, Asian, I have Asian friends. Yeah. <laughs> I was so, like, do we don't need to add that shit in there? Uh, so they go to the internment uh, camp because that's where they can meet the coyote to yeah. let him in. And also they're bringing along a guy that Sonata assigned to them. Yes, and it's the dude from Burn Notice. I had to keep yes. figuring out who he was. And, and he looked it's, well, it's Burke from Aliens, basically. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, Scott has to get Kate for his daughter slash stepdaughter yeah. versus, or someone You first. can't come. This yeah. is life and death. Okay, you can come, but it this is so, life and so death. He just needed her to get into the base. Yeah. Into that area, but like how she's a volunteer here. Yeah, and she's not dressed the part at all. She's no. wearing a fucking tank top and everybody it else. Does, it says volunteer. Yeah. That's yeah. All it, says. it just so, says volunteer. It's almost like like when cops go into a situation, they wear like bright yellow shirt, like jackets, yeah. you know? But it's because uh, the one woman who was there says, I need to get in there and get money so I can get my kids out of here so they don't get displaced. Yeah, yes. So she, the, the coyote leads them in and I'm like, okay, well this is this story of why she needs to go in yeah. is really dumb. Like, Fuck I need them to, kids. I need to go in there and get some other kid's mom. And yeah. It's like, 
Who that cares? was so soup. One, I get that you want to get your kids out of there, but they're also a they already know they're going to go to another place in California. You're going to go with them. So you'd rather risk your life Wouldn't and lose your kids and have a motherless. They clearly don't have a father. There's no yeah. father around. You don't see He's whatever probably happens. probably a zombie. Yeah. Exactly. So why would a you shambler? risk? I'm sorry, but if you're, if I had children, I would not want to risk my life to go get money mm. when there's a really, really, really good possibility. <laughs> you're going to get Unless, eaten. Exactly. So now I'm leaving my children. What That's my personal opinion. Yeah. But. What would have made more sense is like, hey, you're going in there to steal this money. Like, if you bring this back to me for my kids, I will do this, whatever. Maybe yeah. there's some story there. Then you remove that element because the fact that the zombie king was keeping, it reminded me of uh, uh, Suburban Sca Sasquatch where Bigfoot was just keeping women yes. in a plastic bag cave. Yes. It was so weird. But then you also have, um, so Scott's going up to Kate and being like, hey, you got to get me in. I did, it, it looks, there's no struggle at all. I'm pretty sure they could have just walked into there. Yeah. Also, it, when they, later in the movie, you see it kind of zoomed out from the barricade around Vegas and there's nothing else yeah. around, which is very unrealistic. Where did they drive from? And did all the police and the military and blah, 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 not see this group of Crystal. people going? Just turn your brain off, man. It's a zombie off, movie, Crystal. okay? <laughs> At, uh, Zack Snyder, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry that I have to I love you. I love everything I, you. <laughs> he loves he loves everything you do, like uh, continuing to hire a woman who's being tried for domestic abuse. But you know what Zack Snyder really likes in his movies? What? Muscular dudes. You can never say, like, there's boobs in the movie, but you know what there's more of in Zack Snyder movies? Uh, Fucking dude. dudes with high-protein diets, you know? He, so, he talked about that, how all the uh, zombies actually were eating a lot of salad. Do you know yeah. how many... Because they had to be so skinny, and he had to just keep eating meat. Do you know how many zombies in this movie I recognized? Mm -hmm. Because Atlantic they filmed City. it in Atlantic City, yeah. and I'm yeah. like... Holy shit, I know that person, I know that person, I know... <laughs> it was so fucking weird. Did you know the Elvis zombie? I didn't. Uh oh. Yeah. I um, think they shot that in uh, wherever they shot in California or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. They shot in New Mex Albuquerque, New Mexico, Las Where Vegas. Where they shot Breaking Bad. And so anyway... <laughs> Guys, it's late. I got yeah. shit to do. <laughs> so anyway... I have uh, a video game coming out Friday. Yeah. Batista, yeah, he do. meets his daughter. She introduces them to the coyote. And then they're all about to go in. And then she's like, wait, those girls' mom went in. I have to save her. Why Stupid. do you have to go save? So now you have these kids because they're crying in the tent because their mom is gone. <laughs> yeah. So instead of being like, I'm going to be here for you and take care of you. And no. Cause your mother's probably dead in there. I'm going to go basically go get yeah. but suicide. They, they, and they, they take even the even guy more with them who probably raped the mom. Yeah, exactly. the sh shade so we told him that part. character. Yeah, he's yeah. like, what are you guys doing? They're like, hey, we'll pay you if you join us. He's like, because okay. Because Coyote says she needs another one more person and yeah. then points to him. And he's yeah. like, yeah, sure, I'll go. Make some yeah. money. And he is a crazy. Now, yeah. He is, he a, is creep. a creep. Now, this was fucking stupid. And this really made me mad. Mm -hmm. They enter the zombie world. Yeah. They see the all Bill the Murray movie? Yes. They they see all these dead bodies everywhere. Mm -hmm. And she's like, Yeah, they're dried out from the sun. When it rains, they come back to life. I'm like, oh well, clearly that's gonna happen Shambles. later in the movie. I thought the same thing. No. It doesn't happen. Also, if they're if they're like dried out and stuff, why don't you go in there and just poke holes in their heads? Or just so they step never on their heads, life. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I wondered that too. Get a hammer on a sunny day, just knock their head open. But also doesn't that it could only be our rain? job. Yeah. <laughs> Can you digitally add us to the movie? Just <laughs> <laughs> doesn't it only rain in Vegas though during a certain time period? I know in Tucson their monsoon season is uh, July, and it doesn't happen that often. It's like no. a very small mm. amount of rain. But so... after it rains, it smells amazing. No, yeah. you know what probably doesn't smell amazing? Zombies. Zombie tigers. I love the zombie tiger. That this... was phenomenal. Yeah. It was a real zombie. Or I'm sorry, it was not a real zombie. Oh, was it? It was a real tiger, is what I meant to say. Yeah. <laughs> it was just a real zombie. You know what's weird? They said it was Sanford and Roy's tiger yeah. because Valentine. they filmed it. They filmed this before Sanford and Roy died. Yeah. Yeah. One of a virus mm -hmm. and another one of a uh, cancer. Oh. Um, Cancer's a virus? No, it's not. Uh, who at uh, this group had cancer? Uh. Yeah, the, which makes it Are even more shocking doctor? that you think it's a virus. I'm a doctor. Mm -hmm. Wait, you thought cancer was a virus? I have a PhD. Pretty hard dick. 
No, you should be the one who 100% realized. I know. I realized after I said it that I was wrong, but I was like, <laughs> I'm too deep now. I have to keep going. <laughs> anyway, so the, I, <laughs> so the so tiger is a zombie. What other things can be zombies? Because we see a horse. Yeah. We see a tiger. I, why did you not see more animals? That's why I brought my little frostbite, because I was like, zombie yeah. animal. But I mean, also, if it's animal, if other life can get this zombie mm -hmm. virus, how is this limited to just Vegas? Yeah. How to not birds? That, that's my whole thing Bacter too. Can bacteria yeah. get the virus? Like and in order for them to be the fast, not shamblers, but the alpha zombies, which they later explain, mm -hmm. the Zeus, the king zombie, the, I the kept first, writing king zombie. The first zombie, yeah. yeah. His name's Zeus, uh, would have to actually bite you. So that means he bit the tiger and the horse. Yeah. Who the fuck goes around biting Where animals? is that scene? Yeah. No, to be fair, I bite my cat all the time. Yeah. I like grab her, like her the rough, the, you know, because I'm her mom. Anyway. You put your cat in your I carry her around. The zombie queen's pretty cool. Can we Tony would do that, quick? but his cat died. I had to kill oh, my cat. Right. Can we say how they also never shut the doors of the storage? I don't know if you guys noticed that. Oh, yeah. They <laughs> no, never yeah. shut. That bothered me so. There's I was just really, zombies running I in. I was really excited for this movie, especially when I saw the tiger. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But when they got to shut that door, my OCT was like freaking the fuck out. I I was like, shut the door, the, shut the door, shut the door. I liked that the tiger did cat things though. Yeah, because like while I was watching it, my cat jumped up, yawned, and then laid down. And I was like, <laughs> you're like the tiger kitty. Yeah. So they uh, they get into the building. Uh, they have to cat. go through some building to get to where they like gotta go. Like a dressing room at like yeah. a cabaret show. And they find a bunch of zombies hibernating. Yeah. Are you not you gonna were... say how Bert totally gets fucking attacked? Oh yeah, so they, they have, have to- so much... Oh <laughs> I know. right, the you can not they have to do miss an... one of the biggest parts. They have to do an offering because she knows, the coyote knows how their system works. Yeah. Yes, so you she... have the shambler, really? You have the shamblers who are the slower zombies that have been, been bitten by each other. And then you have the alpha zombies that are actually fast, they're organized, they're smart. Mm -hmm. And they're the ones that are bit by Zeus, which I guess transfers better energy or whatever yeah. it is. He called you, hey Zeus. And he's like, <laughs> like hey yeah. Zeus, like the God of Thunder. <laughs> Stick a lightning bolt up yeah. your ass. So, <laughs> so you shoot. have the queen zombie that comes out. She was cool She's looking. Got, she yeah. was really yeah. cool. People I are gonna cosplay that. I yeah. wish I saw more of her. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you have to do a sacrifice, basically. They'll allow you into their area, kind of. They'll be like, okay, they're just kind of chilling mm -hmm. here. We're not going to yeah. really bother if you do a sacrifice. That's the reason why they brought Bert, yeah. who's the creepy officer, who's like, you have raped so many fucking women yeah. in the um, quarantine. In camp. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, we're going to sacrifice you. Mm -hmm. Your abuse of power. And it's like, again, Zack Snyder and that subtlety. He's <laughs> very subtle. <laughs> but he uh, gets sat. But. And they drag him into, a, was it Olympus? Yeah, which yes. is got, a fake casino. It's a fake casino, yeah, yeah. and that's where all of them live. Because Mount yes. Olympus is where the Greek gods live. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. And then okay. you It's find very mythology-esque. In there is where you find out. Well, because even, yeah, because even uh, later on, the dude with the saw references Joseph Campbell yeah. about the yes. hero's journey and all that but kind of all stuff. But all those alpha zombies, one thing I really, the one line I liked is said, the others are smarter, faster, and more organized. Straight out of your fucking nightmares. And I was like, Ooh. Except her weird, uh, I thought that was the woman who played Fiora in Man of Steel because she always pops up and stuff, but, yeah. she's done it. but a lot of the stunt team were his yeah. other stunt people. And uh, Queen Zombie's pregnant. We Which learned. we find out. But the, yes. you kind of, yeah, you realize that when he goes down, kind and of like, puts his head on yeah. her, her stomach, and that's when you're like, I think she's pregnant. This so is he, very I Am Legend. Yeah. It is very yeah. I Am Legend. So, Which so is he, the very first time that you and I ever hung out outside of a work environment was going to see I Am Legend together. It was. Yep. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> so now they go to the zombies hibernating, yeah. and they got to sneak through them, and they're dropping like the glow sticks. Yeah. And I like that the the dick guy, the Burke character, mm -hmm. basically. Uh, the one girl, the Vasquez. That's not Burt. That's not, Burt. No, Burt. Burke is Burke the character is the guy from Aliens. Who screws oh, everyone I'm getting Riser. so confused. Yeah. Yes. So uh, that is, uh, his name is... Guy from Burn Notice. Martin. Sure. Right? Martin. Oh, we didn't even say that part. Guys, we, we, did. So we, mentioned we mentioned it. We mentioned it. We're going to keep moving. Yes, going we mentioned him. him. Yes. He's the, he works for Sub Zero. Yeah, we met no, Scorpion. We Scorpion. mentioned it was Sonata. He said burn notice. Yeah. Oh, I cut okay. that. Because yeah. he like grabs the girl on the bus and yeah. stuff like that. So anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, okay. the not Vasquez. Not Vasquez. He's like, hey, I'm on to you. I know you're bad. Mm -hmm. So of course he picks up the one glow stick and throws it. So yeah. she gets. But why confused. do zombies hibernate? To conserve energy. And then it They're just not wakes fucking cell phones. And nothing else wakes them up except loud noises. 
Oh, yeah, pretty up. much. Yeah. yeah. That was so weird. Yeah. And they're still kind of moving. Yeah. Yeah. And it takes her forever to die. Yeah. Well, because she keeps fighting, which is kind of badass. Yeah. But they asked who has never fought or killed a zombie. She's never killed a zombie before this. Because she's fucking awesome. Yeah, she but said she's probably she's never done... killed a zombie, but she's got these badass moves where she's kicking. And... Well, yeah, she's probably done other killing and stuff. Yeah. Just not specifically zombies. Yeah. What else was she in? She looks very familiar. I don't she was just making YouTube videos with fucking Mickey Gus. We make YouTube videos yeah. and we're you fucking badass, I mean. awesome dudes. We're like so anyway. the toughest boys in town. So anyway, we're tough boys. Guys, it's 54 minutes and we're already, we're still in act one. Do you see why I'm skipping some of the notes? Ah, oh, there's so much. Anyway, so yeah, she's like trying to kill the zombies every time they wake up to yeah. stop everyone else from waking up, but then a bunch of pots and pans fall. Yeah. Uh, and then like, again, like you think she's just gonna get eaten, but then she bursts through a window and she's still, <laughs> she, she still hasn't been bitten at yeah. this point. And she doesn't run. She doesn't get up and run. She just no. kind of like accepts her death at that point. Yeah. You're like, oh, you're, you get so much chance to survive. They they're all wearing on their back. Yes, on their back for, for the helicopter. For the helicopter. Yeah. But she has a chance to just get up and go. Yeah. She does it. No. Uh, it's because this movie was written by an idiot that Newt idolizes. I don't think he's an idiot. He's well, he was, idiot. but he wrote I think this he shit. was misguided. I think <laughs> if you ever listen to the- now, Who's misguiding him? He's in charge of everything. Well, I mean, look at Robert Rodriguez. Who's misguiding him? God? Like, Hold on. <laughs> Robert Rodriguez make, does all those things in his movies, and he made Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Yeah. So- well, that's supposed to be a dumb kids movie. <laughs> and this is supposed to be a dumb movie for people who like video Ugh. games and zombie movies. Ugh. Look, so, yeah. this is better than all those fucking Resident Evil movies. I like the first one. Oh, where we've talked about this before, yeah. where a man's jacket becomes a woman's yeah, shorter jacket and shorter. by the end of the movie. <laughs> so, so there was an important line of dialogue here. Yeah. Where the girl is asking the coyote, like, uh, what are the chances of survival here? Mm -hmm. And she tells her a story. About someone who survived, I think, but I couldn't hear anything because at this point outside of my house, they started chopping down a tree and I didn't have my subtitles on. Mm -hmm. So she's like, there was once this. <laughs> was it the black dude with the saw outside your house? Yes. And you're like, Newt, get over here. Here's your chance. Yes, yes. <laughs> so I'm sitting there and I'm just like, I'm like hearing all this stuff. And then I put the subtitles on afterwards, but I didn't rewind because mm -hmm. I don't fucking yeah. care about this Do you movie. think I could ever work out enough that I'd have big muscles like Tony and then like people would like want to touch my muscles and stuff nope. like that, like that guy? Nope. No. Okay. So you have a uh, Tignatar should be in everything. I think we already yeah. mentioned that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we already mentioned zombie animals. And yeah. they're having an emotional scene with Kate and uh, Scott. I'm saying how Scott was never around and she killed her. Yeah. She, he killed her mom and blah, blah. It was like this really emotional scene that it, didn't need to it happen. Like, it wasn't because I hate you. It was because you didn't do anything afterwards. You but he knew that me. she's like, I knew you had to kill my mom because she was a zombie. But then you were never around. You were never after around. But it makes sense. Me. He's like, look, you didn't want me around. This happened. This is hard on both of us. Yeah. You know? Every time I look at you, you remind me of uh, your mother. Yeah. Yeah. I don't give a shit about any of that. Like, I just... Totally, I this movie should have yeah. just been like a Guardians of the Galaxy know. style yes. heist yeah. comedy. That's what it should have been. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. What it like, I usually like Batista. I didn't care about his character. Yeah. I didn't care about... They this. added too much. So usually in these types of movies, you really invest in the character. There's a lot of character building and yeah. the relationships. And they forced that into it. Yeah. To where you don't care and they... Force it you in weird spots where it's really, really quick, no. and you don't really invest too much, and it's just awkward. And you're just like, "Can this stop?" Because and this they do it a lot in this movie. Because this movie didn't need to be two and a half hours. Yeah, yeah, this movie's it two and a half hours. Yeah. Most of it's fucking slow motion. Yeah. Chill with the goddamn now, slow granted, motion. Yeah. Now, granted, I mean, I can't really, oh, I wow. can't really talk much about writing zombie movies. <laughs> Because I wrote one of the worst movies ever made, Swamp Zombies 2. So you got me in, I bring you back your people, I turn over your hacker, and I get to go home. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. To be fair, my original good. script was great, somebody else added to it. Well, I made one of the best zombie movies ever made, Hack the Living Dead. I did Dead. hear about that. I yeah. did have some help with my mm -hmm. co-writers. Yeah. Um, you guys was, are just such great writers and so famous. I just, I can't it believe was kind I of amazing, in the presence of um, such talent. It, I mean, it was kind of amazing, Tony, though, that you had the f like the wherewithal and the foresight to cast an African-American lead at that point in the 1960s. Before my mom was born. Yeah, I know, it's that amazing. was pretty shocking like, you know, that I did that. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I forget what we were talking about. 
but we're jumping ahead. Yeah. They get to the bank vault. Mm -hmm. This was a good scene, though. Another, again, with the magical realism. Yeah. They're like, oh, look, other people have tried to break in, and here are their bodies. And he's like, the guy, the Saul guy is like, it's us. Mm -hmm. Look, they're dressed just like us, and maybe this is like time in a loop. And you kind of get weirded out because there's the necklace that Peters is wearing. It's yeah. the same exact necklace mm -hmm. yeah. the skeleton's wearing. You're just like, who? how many people have that fucking necklace? So then I, I, so then I was like, is... There's some weird time travel. No, stuff? but it, it does that. make sense because the way the movie ends, it is essentially a time loop. It's all going to start over again. But it's not the no, way that, that makes less sense. It. That means yeah. people coincidentally all wore the same thing. I do believe yes. that because if you look at, I, I think it's more of like an indictment of like movie badasses. They all have like the stock type of person. I think that's more like the quirky, like I'm the quirky badass who's good at this, and I wear a Hawaiian shirt. You know, it's like, yeah. I thought it was more of that than anything, but I did like that because, um, have you ever seen the movie Below? It was directed by the guy who made Pitch Black. It was written by, um, fucking Requiem for a Dream guy. Ooh. Yeah, it's about a, it's a ghost movie set on a submarine during World War II. But, uh, fucking, um, Zach Galifianakis, there's like a banging on the hull of the ship and he's like, and he's like, oh, they're going to save us. He's like, no, we've been dead this entire time. And that's the rescue crew have found the, the uh, submarine because this was right after the Sixth Sense came out. And then yeah. it turned out to actually be the thing. And they're like, oh, never mind. I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Um, yeah. And then uh, we cut back the zombie king has yeah. hostages. One of them is the woman that the girl was going. There wasn't there enough development of the zombie king for it to matter. No, there wasn't. Yeah, the, yeah. the hostages felt weird. Like, weird. Why is it yeah. just well, I like girls? the yeah. I like the idea of that hierarchy, but without exploring it more and knowing mm. what's going on, it doesn't. It just seems like it they just, just felt disconnected. They yeah. just be zombies. Just make them monsters, you know? Yeah. Because so they then, took everyone else in there that turned them into. Why those three? Why? Well, they're why saving they them. But so why? this is this is the dumbest fucking. This is when the movie just broke. Yeah. So what? What's the the evil character's name, the bad guy, Mark, what was his name? Martin. Martin. <laughs> he he tells Coyote Girl that he can like have everyone released. Yeah. If she gets him a vial of the smart one's blood. Yeah. Because it's aliens. Yes. So they lure out the queen. Mm-hmm. And he cuts her head off. Yeah. And he's she's like, what? What about the vault and stuff? And he goes, oh, no, I only came in here for this. You knew he was a bad guy from the freaking yeah. beginning. Yeah. But the thing is, like, we only came in here for this to take control of zombies. The bank, we don't care about the bank. Because we're going to make a super we're soldier. Make a super, yeah. yeah. We could control like, the military with this. What was the point of the fake plan? Why not just tell them that was the plan to begin with? Yeah. Well, because maybe yeah. they wouldn't have come if it wasn't money, but they would have gotten paid by the gut by the They didn't dude. care. Yeah. Be like, hey, you know what? While you're here, get yourself some money, but we really need that head. Yeah. It's it's like the thing was twenty feet away the from vampire, where they entered. This is the yeah. zombie movie version of supermarket sweep. They're like, we need this, but you have this amount of time to grab whatever you want in here. You know what was that video? Remember that video? You were probably too young. Mm. There used to be a video game. James and I have talked about it a million times. There used to be a video game show that used to be on super early in the morning. And kids would wear a Velcro suit and yeah. you'd run through the thing and stick video games, Nintendo games to you, and whatever you got out with, you mm. got to keep. And James and I are the only two people who remembered that fucking yeah. show. <laughs> So they rip the head of the zombie off. Yeah, and, and it's still again, alive. Zach, you need to pick between classic Romero zombies or Return of the Living Dead zombies. Yeah. If your rules are that destroying the head kills the zombie, once the head gets severed, it's dead. Yeah. You did this in Dawn of the Dead, and you did it again here. Well, maybe they didn't know about the smart zombies. Maybe, like, he's like, kill the brain. They know about the shambler zombie. I am, Zach, I'm trying. I am trying my best here. No, because all the other ones, you, you still shot them in the head, and they still died. Even the alphas, you shot them in the head, and they died. And there wasn't enough of the queen zombie. She was, I love female mm. monsters and things. I do, too. Return of the Living Dead 3. Bride of Frankenstein. I know you love female monsters. You're a big Amber Heard fan. Oh, I thought you were going to say Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> no, no one is. Do you remember the monster heist movie that I wrote for you? Planet Which Frankenstein. One? I love Planet Frankenstein. Where it was monsters breaking into a monster prison yeah, to steal really back cool. the brain of the Frankenstein monster, which is being used to power a fucking monster prison and every level is filled with a souped up version of a public. Someone's gonna steal this idea. No, I've already copyrighted it. Okay. Every level is, it's like the raid with three sexy 
Brides of Frankenstein, <laughs> and each level is filled with a monster from a 50s B movie that's like it. amped up, and it's one of the best scripts I've ever yeah. written, and it was hard to do, to and I have it. pictures, we'll show pictures of Crystal, yeah. it took six hours to paint you green. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Because you're a big ass bitch. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Well, that's cool. But what else was cool? This was like one of the best scenes of the movie was the booby trap hallway. Yeah. That was cool. Where and how they had to keep getting new zombies. zombies. And it's like, uh, so the first time they do it, the zombie like turns back to them because they're trying to figure out which one of what the thing does to trigger the, uh, mm. you know, the defense. So they have a zombie and he doesn't do it. So they have to kill him. So they have to get on another one. They put the hand in the um, microwave yeah. because they want warm flesh and they throw in the thing. And the first thing that comes out is like darts. 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 And he's like, oh, okay, whatever. And then it steps again and it gets fucking shot. And he's yeah. like, well, that's not right. And then it goes <laughs> to the next one. And it gets fucking smashed. Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> because when it separates, there's like fucking entrails that are sticking. Yes. Whereas, like, if the whole movie stuck to that, Dark comedy. I, one of my favorite things about writing is I love insult to injury because I'm an unhappy person. Yeah. So I love when people die, but like in a really embarrassing way that you'd have to like lie about how your loved one died <laughs> later on, you know? So then they eventually get the thing unlocked. Well, no, before mm. that, they tell them that the nuclear bomb right. has been moved up because the, the president's thing is... It would be awesome. Yeah, to do and it on I, the 4th oh of wait, July. I, I did the quote. The president moved the bombing of the 4th of July because it would be, quote, really cool and the ultimate fire sh uh, fireworks show. Actually, really patriotic <laughs> if you think about it. Yeah. Who do you think they were trying to be there? I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so they moved it up uh, because and apparently he, it was considered distasteful. <laughs> and he calls uh, Peters up on the radio who's trying to fix the helicopter. Oh, yeah. How yeah. the fuck? Okay, so the <laughs> helicopter is kind of, she's like, yeah, 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 it's working, it's working. And then all of a sudden, like, the engine explodes and it's just nothing but mm. black smoke. Because Signatara goes, you spent more money on the model than yeah. you did. Because the, the guy had built, like, a, mm -hmm. a scale model of Vegas. And she's like... And the, but she's telling him it's great. He's like, nah, I'm up here on the on the pool. I'm just yeah. waiting for you guys. Like again, <laughs> Tignatara is the best part of this entire movie because it looks like she doesn't fucking yeah. care. So so then they open up the safe. Yeah, and it's like five pages. goddamn minutes of slow. What are you doing? I know he didn't give me all my pages. That's all I had. Because the thing I had broke. Five pages. Oh, well they're making it rain. Well, wait till she's done okay. on the wait, phone. Wait, let me just, right, pull weird. up. This is going on very long. Sorry, I want to pull up my notes. The bank vault thing mm -hmm. is all in slow mo. Yeah, and it goes for fucking ever. It does. They play a fucking entire song, and not all the. And this is like around the time where like I paused, and I'm like, how much? You're, there's like forty to thirty minutes left. What yeah. the fuck? The last is this? thirty minutes of this movie are useless. I was so yeah. annoyed at this point because yeah. I thought it was wrapping up, and I'm like, "What the fuck? Like, can we speed it up? Can we play mm -hmm. this at two point, like yeah. two times speed?" It was pretty cool though to see uh, Zeus though coming out on a horse. On the, the zombie, zombie horse. horse was that was cool. really cool. Yeah. Yeah. That I got excited, and then all of a sudden, next thing you know, Dieter, they're all trying to figure out this lock. Com it's a four combo lock, yeah. um, and he he's like. I need complete silence for the next half hour, even though well, it's this, gonna take- we're, we're past that point. But did we didn't open the vault, did we? Yeah, we did, we're Wait, past I that I literally point. just we're, said we just they said opened about up how the they vault. Open the God vault. And it's it. all in Sorry, slow motion. Sorry, I was looking at my notes. Remember, I'm okay. skipping over little yeah, yeah, details. Yeah. Yeah. Can I, there is one detail though, okay. Yes, they open up the vault, but did anyone notice what was inside the vault? The Snyder Cut. Yeah. No, 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 the Snyder Cut was in the first time they show the vault opening, when they do the whole, how easy it's gonna be. Yeah. The, the reels are There's five in the cans corner. In the yeah. corner. Oh, I didn't and this is that. before HBO actually yeah. picked it up. Mm, and that's so they're pretty gonna just, funny. Yeah, you see just random five fill uh, cans right there. <laughs> Again, I thought that was so really cool. So far, the Snyder Cut and Nobody are the only two good movies I've seen this year. <laughs> I like Godzilla vs. Kong. It was fun. Oh, uh, so Zombie King, he yeah. finds his lady's body mm -hmm. and brings it back and he pulls the baby out. And the baby's like a little alien baby, and it's like yeah. purple, and the like the light drains out of yes. it. Yes. Yeah. And then everybody goes rrr, 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 around yeah, the pool. He's very upset, so he sends his army of the dead. That's what the movie's name to is the about. casino to oh kill all those God. people. And then Kate's hiding in a car because he, she's about to go get yeah. Eaten. Right, because she fact, escaped. How did none of them see her at all whatsoever? I have no idea. Yeah, she escaped and she got across town pretty fucking fast. But even that got even faster was the um. That King Zob Zeus can get around real fast. Well, I don't the know king how. Of the zombies. But he's oh, oh, I got a note. Fast. I got a note coming up for it doesn't that, make exactly. any sense. Yup, I know where we're uh, going. So then this is the worst part of the movie, and this would work in a comedy. Mm -hmm. uh, the girl 
Spanish lady, Anna, whatever. Maria. Maria. I like this scene. <sighs> I would have liked it if this, the rest of the movie had this tone. Yeah. Yes. So A she decides percent. to spend 10 goddamn hours professing her love to Batista. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And again, I'm just like, can we please wrap this up? Yes. I got, I have to go back to work and do shit like this. Can we, we please? had to film a mailbag episode for Patreon. <laughs> yes. So she's like, I love you, Batista. It's great. We're all, we're, we're going to live a happy life together. And then the elevator opens and the zombie <laughs> turns her head around. <laughs> I, I, I liked it. I thought it was, um, again, tonally. It didn't fit with didn't, this movie. Yeah. But I like when things like that happen in movies. I wish that the movie had more of those type of yes. things in yeah. it. Pick one or the other. <sighs> I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Dieter locks Saw Guy in the um In the, the vault. vault. The which vault. at first I was like, well, you just basically sealed his fate already. But then I also looked up okay, Modern Volts, you can actually get out now that they made Modern Volts yeah. able to get out. And then I realized I'm looking up stupid facts for in a, a movie zombie that movie. Did, well, did did Zack Snyder like, did not look... Fuck the movies for making me do this <laughs> and not just enjoy the old, a movie. The, the Twilight Zone episode where Burgess Meredith, mm-hmm. he gets in a bank vault That's so he can read literally and he survives the, the nuclear first thing I thought of. Favorite. That yeah. is my absolute there was time favorite now. Twilight Zone. There was time, time enough at last. <laughs> and then his glasses break and mm-hmm. it's the saddest yeah. thing in the world. It's my favorite Twilight Zone So yeah, the Burn Notice guy screws them all over. Yeah. But... Zombie, zombie tiger. kitty gets him. That's yes. my, the gore in that yes. is fucking awesome, it's but it just good. goes on too long. Yeah. The throwing him back and oh, forth. Wow. Something in this movie went on too long. Yeah. 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 But I was happy you Zach, knew. I know you're watching this. Yeah. I'm only saying these things because I care. Oh, he's not watching this. He saw Johnny Depp and he turned it off. <laughs> he said, liar. I just noticed Jesus that you put Christ. that there. I put it there. <laughs> Justice Fuck for you, Johnny. Johnny. Justice for Johnny. Fuck <laughs> Who worked you. with Roman Polanski on the ninth gate. Uh, but yes, you knew Martin was going to have a horrible death just by the way he said, uh, oh yeah, fuck you guys. He's going out by himself. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And you're just like, oh, and fuck you. Also, you knew because his character is basically Burke from Aliens. Exactly. And this is exactly what happens. Yep. So he locks them all so they can't get out mm-hmm. and then yeah. he gets killed. Yes, yeah, because yes, they yes. even have the scene earlier where he's sh- where even Ripley's like, they don't fuck each other over. Yeah. And then they repeat that line they, too. They say, yeah. Yeah. Say the same exact line. <laughs> he said yes. it and I looked over to Nikki and I was just like, that's exactly from aliens. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's worse, Burke. You are the goddamn thing. Yep. You don't see them screwing each yep. other over for a goddamn I percentage. Mean, any movie where they say my name over and over and over again is obviously one of my favorite <laughs> movies. So <laughs> Aliens is one of my favorite movies. I have, you know, in yeah. my bathroom, I have a Newton Ripley yes, action figure above does. my yeah. medicine cabinet. He does. So then there's the slow mo gun, the slow mo money. More shot, which is kind of cool. I like the whole no. fight scene that's going through the thing, um, except for when Batista like fucking throws an entire roulette table across the thing, like oh, he's yeah. Superman. Way too weird. long, though. Yeah, way too long. It was weird. So I didn't really notice the blue blood in that. Yes, like I noticed it on the baby, but at one point he shot a zombie in the head. And it was blue, and there were like sparks. I'm like, was that a robot? Yeah. That like really yeah. threw me yeah. off. Hey guys, Tony from the future here, interrupting the video. After we shot this review, an article came out, and yes, that was a robot zombie. That zombie was a literal robot to tie into the animated series they're doing or the prequel. I don't know, but I wasn't crazy. It is a robot. So then they meet up on top of the roof. Yeah. And what's her face? Well, oh, the- Guzman also dies. Which one was that? That was uh, uh the YouTuber. Yeah. yeah. In he, the he, stupidest way, yeah. he pulls a grenade. A grenade actually goes off between like one and a half to three seconds. Yeah. So there's no way at this point, the only people that are left <laughs> is fucking, you good? Yeah, that was, was a, a lot stronger than I thought it was wow. all at the bottom. Whoa, yeah. you good? Okay. So the only people that are left are uh, Coyote and Scott. They're the only mm-hmm. two along with Kate who's somewhere yeah. else. They're running, Guzman's on the ground getting attacked by zombies mm. as money is falling on them slow-mo where yeah. you're like oh wow is it i guess That's money versus it was yeah. yeah i was like this is dumb so then, he pulls a grenade and there's a fireball grenades 
do not yeah. do the, fireballs. When, the no, grenades no. are shards yeah. of metal. When Nan Vasquez dies, it's more realistic than she when she was gas. so yeah. Yeah. dumb. I yeah. that was I was like, that's not how grenades work. No, no. Zack Snyder didn't look these things up. Yeah. Okay? People know how grenades don't people know how grenades work? Yeah, I do. Yeah. The kid in uh Child's Play 3 who threw himself on one knows how they work. Yes. Well, yeah. that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Because it's more about the shrapnel. That's, that's how they, exactly that's what that's it how, is. Yeah. Uh, that's how Captain America got to be Captain America because he oh, threw yeah. himself onto a right. grenade and it wasn't real. And so, on the rooftop, we forgot to mention uh, the coyote girl, she switched out the head in the bag. She yeah, did. Yeah. That guy over. Counter. So, at the, money counter. at the top, they're like getting in the helicopter. It's just Batista, Tig, and coyote girl. Yeah. And the zombie king comes up and she uses the head. <laughs> I like when though Tig Notara is like, was that a zombie in a cape? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. she's like using the head as a way mm -hmm. to like stall for so he time. Fucking yeah. throws a spike through her. Throws a spike through her, and then she drops the head and just flat that when the head everywhere. hits the ground and explodes was awesome yeah. though. And then Batista's like, my daughter's at the Olympus Hotel. I know it. How? I don't know. Plot convenience. I yeah. think they, she said it earlier. That's where she wanted to go. So he figured, oh, she's probably there trying to save. I got yeah. up to go to the bathroom and go and put dishes in the dishwasher. And when I came back, I was like, oh, this is still going. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, he's like, I need to go get my daughter. And they have and nine we, minutes we have left. Nine minutes. Yeah. And Tig's like, oh, man, you better get her. And I was like, in what fucking universe are you risking this, this shit? This is also nope. the third Zack Snyder movie that has a nuclear bomb in it. Watchmen. Batman versus Superman, and this. Huh. huh. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh... It's a useless fact. They're going... <laughs> they're going to Olympus, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and on the ground, we see Zombie King somehow... Somehow made it all the way down the giant casino, got on his horse, and then him and the horse beat the fucking helicopter to where they were going. How? That part, I was like, you can't, you can't pretend, you can't do movie magic. There's, I say it's magic, hold but on. no. Maybe there will be a Snyder cut. There won't be a Snyder cut. There's no there, Snyder cut. There's in a this. zombie. There's a zombie go kart. <laughs> there's the zombie Batman and Robin car <laughs> that can drive down the thing. <laughs> Zach, please back me up here. <laughs> no, that yeah. Oh, it, it, that hurt. Yeah. Oh, he also wears a helmet a lot. Yeah, he which is get cool shot though. It, no, yeah. it's not cool because how can bullets go, not hit him, but his head just soft? Does he just have a soft head? Because when people shoot him, it looks like the bullets just kind of bounce off. Well, he's stronger than. The, well, maybe the. But wait, it but it goes through his head. Area fifty one. Maybe the alien was kryptonite or krypton. <laughs> The alien was Krypton. He came from Krypton. It was Krypton. all of Krypton. He came from Krypton. <laughs> he came from Krypton. So in the I'm uh, trying so hard, Zach. So in the <laughs> in the building, mm -hmm. uh, fucking Batista comes in. He shoots a rocket at the dude. He's killing zombies. It's really shitty. Yeah. And then he gets his daughter, and the mother that she was looking for. Who the, her Gita. whole character was built around, and I forgot the that that was the story. Yeah. Story, At one point. Yeah. yeah. So they get to the roof, and the helicopter's gone, like in Aliens. <laughs> Except uh. in Aliens, uh, Bishop is flying like a super yeah. futuristic, silent thing. Have you ever been near a helicopter? Have you ever been yeah. near where a helicopter is far away from you and you can hear a yeah. helicopter? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. You don't hear it at all whatsoever. And then all of a sudden you hear a really, really light helicopter and it's right next to them. You're like, like and we she has like a stupid wise crack. Yeah. Like, oh, I don't know. That was dumb. The that was dumb. So they get in <sighs> and then the zombie king jumps, jumps into the, in helicopter. the helicopter. How long of a conversation do they also need to have before they jumped into the fucking helicopter? There can't be nine minutes left at this point. There has to be like a minute, yeah. maybe if that. It's yeah. like if Galaxy that? Galaxy Quest where it counts down and it's yeah. like. <laughs> but they're having a full conversation on the roof. Yeah. With Peters, yeah, and it's all stupid. of a sudden, it's so stupid. And then we get Such another. <laughs> Sorry. No, and then all of a sudden, Zeus is behind them, as yeah. if they didn't think he was going to appear. And then You're we get the cliche, oh. where the the aircraft's going down and go, oh, it goes off camera, and then it's and okay, it comes back up. I'm like, I've seen that so many goddamn times. Like, I think Force Awakens was the last time I yeah. saw it. And I'm like, I'm done with that cliche. It was in Superman Returns. It's in a lot of fucking movies. 
Uh, but yeah, so they're fighting and fighting. And this what's movie wasn't very good. We're about to get to the part that really pissed me <laughs> off. Yeah. Uh, which part is that? Because I'm about to mention Batista gets like bit and then yeah. he just blows the king's nope, head go off. Go ahead, keep going. Batista got spite Tista. Yes, yes. I wrote and, that And uh, then the fucking nuke goes off. Yeah. And then everyone dies. Except they don't, it's, because it's going by Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal well, Skull Well, no, Tig Notaro dies. Well, she does die. This is the part that pissed me off. And then the off. mom died that they went in to rescue. That's the part that pissed me off. Mm -hmm. So, the hell, okay, so yes, Zeus's head gets blown off. Which that was awesome. Bit, that was cool. His I head explosion that. was cool. No. But, you know, the gun kind of stops at the edge, and first yeah. it doesn't fall. I was like, oh, come on. Everyone, this helicopter, no one would have survived that helicopter crash. One. No. So you got the two in the front that are dead. Fucking Gita, you barely see her. You see them watch the nuclear bomb go. Yeah. First of all, that helicopter, there's no way you're getting further, <laughs> far enough yeah. from the nuclear to not be affected at all, nothing at all. Mm -hmm. They don't mention Gita at all. They don't even look at her. You mm. someone see Peters. The whole reason, bitch, you went in yeah. there was yeah. to save Gita. You don't And even she doesn't seem that phase that she's gone. It's These like, poor fucking kids. You're I so guess, worried about her fucking kids. Yeah. Well, because he says, here's some money. Go take care of those kids. Man, it would have been great if I opened a lobster roll cart because there's a running gag about yeah. what kind of food cart he's going to open. Have you never had lobster rolls? I've never had a lobster roll before. They're okay. They're okay. Is yeah. it? Yeah. 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 They're kind it's of, overhyped. Kind of overrated. I don't know. I've never had one before. Yeah. And then. Uh, I've never worn flip flops. I've never been to a strip club. I've never been to a Waffle House. I've only worn sunglasses twice in my entire life. Can we go to a sh strip, uh, strip club, club Waffle House? Waffle House. Well, we, if we go to the South. <laughs> okay. So then, the Zombie by the Cranberries plays. <sighs> Which was so on the nose and terrible. Because I like that song a lot. Yeah, it did. And I would like, it bothered me when she killed herself because like uh there's a lot of her songs that i really their, their songs i really like but in I'm this sorry, case she didn't have you in mind when yeah, she came up with that decision i know but if only i knew how newt felt no like there's certain people i was like when i heard she died it's like because i can rem you ever hear a song and you have a sense memory like when i hear certain cranberry songs i'm taken back to 1994 1995 1996 there's certain songs and things that take you and you can smell and feel you know what i mean yeah Never mind. I tried to be. So, <laughs> you find out that in Vegas. Yeah. While the zombie thing is playing. Uh, what's his face? Survived the vault. No fucking way. One, a vault like that would survive. No. And for some odd I reason, think if it, it did. No, because it's not a fallout shelter. It's not a fallout shelter. It's just a bank vault. But he's a fallout boy. <laughs> okay, fine. For some odd reason, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Shh. For some odd reason, if you do somehow make it and you crawl out of there, that radiation oh, you're would done. have oh, yeah, killed yeah. you immediately. Yeah. You are not making it out of there, motherfucker. But he's so yeah. masculine and buff that it, maybe it didn't even And he's just him. walking out to the desert like and finds this car that yeah. well, randomly to be works. Fair, he's bitten by a zombie and he finds he out about no it. He has no idea yet. But I know, but like that might affect his metabolism. and his, It doesn't yeah. affect you until you're dead, it looks like. Well, None of that affects yeah. you. don't turn into a zombie until he, you're he, dead. And then he like buys someone else's private plane. Because he has well, all the money with him. But he finds him. a car and just so happens to know that the key are in the, th the manifold so yeah. and he drives a car and he goes to an airport and he's like oh I want that plane and she's like we can't have that plane and he just takes money out and actually like, where he plane. went to that car that might have been from a deleted scene because that's where they all took that cast picture Oh, really? Where he gets the car. Oh, that's really? where they, with Crystalia and stuff, they, they all took <laughs> a cast picture there. Yeah, exactly. Tig Notara. Oh, okay. So I wonder if there was a scene that they cut just to save on all of the Release Tig the stuff. Snyder cut. Release the Snyder <laughs> cut. Release <laughs> the Snyder cut. Please make this movie better because it hurts me because I'm a dude, fan of no your work. This. No, this no movie's bad. This, this, this movie's was really fine, bad. But okay, so anyway, yeah. so they're on the plane and then he, uh, he starts getting sick. He quotes Joseph Campbell, no. uh, which is a good quote. I actually have used that quote before in things. Yeah. And he's drinking champagne he's like Whoa. and he goes in the bathroom and then he checks and he has a bite which also looks like it's healing yeah, yeah. well that was because dumb. he's becoming one of the Zombifying. super zombies but you but none of them actually turn into zombies until they're dead <sighs> scott got bit earlier than you're, he did yeah i know and then he died and then he turned into a zombie you're not turning into a zombie until you die you're it trying, looks like you're trying to bring logic to something where he was like his, hey his, but he didn't even realize he even got yeah. Netflix Crystal, is, it's a bad movie. Yeah, it's a bad movie. But 
it goes back to his whole idea of it's a time loop because now, now it's gonna he's going to go else. to wherever he is and it's going to happen all over again. But Once there's no way you're going to be able to then, like... It doesn't matter. It do <laughs> we've been going on for so long. Yes. It's a uh, bad movie. I wished it was a better movie. It... If, I wish it was like the beginning with the opening credits. Yeah. If, it was, if it was like if there was time, more, it would have been so If cool. there was more zombie titties in the movie, I'd have no. been like, all right. Yes. Yeah. But the movie's not fun. No. It's it has like, a couple fun things. Yeah. Yeah, all the right. advertisements make it look like all colorful and action packed, it's but it's not. very yeah. desaturated. And they try too hard with character development. Yeah. That's what it was. I'm and sorry, for characters that are either t they're too cliche yeah. or you just don't it was. fuck yep. about them. And yeah, I uh, I it, hated it. Yeah, I didn't hate it, but I, I didn't like it. You know, I, I tried to warm it. up to Zack Snyder a little bit. Justice ju League was good. I did like, yeah. And then he let me down again. Oh, uh, but no. So I will yeah. not be watching any more of his movies. Well, you know what his next movie is going to be? Unless I'm forced to on this show. Well, do you know what his next movie is going to be? What? He's doing a movie with Amy Adams about a woman who gets into... Um, bodybuilding and taking steroids and it's basically that Simpsons episode where Marge got f into steroids and bodybuilding yeah but it's like a female version of the wrestler with Amy Adams with Amy Adams yeah. she gets buff into I, a wrestler like I think Amy Adams is fucking awesome oh, she's I love everything beautiful. that she's in and she and Zack Snyder like I know that he's with Deborah Snyder but have you ever seen like pictures of like press stuff yeah she looks at him the way that I wish Crystal would look at me. <laughs> Newt, that movie <laughs> sounds terrible. It might be good. And I will not be watching All right, well, I'll watch it. And Unless I'll I'm forced it. to for this show. Justin and like I will watch it. You don't like female empowerment stuff? Is that why? No, I just don't want to watch another Zack you don't Snyder wanna, you don't, movie. You don't like women who have their names on the sides of their cups? Yeah. I'm sorry, but it also has skull bucks because I have a skull and it's yeah. Starbucks. So anyway, that was Army of the Dead. Do you think they call it Starbucks because nobody wanted to drink a... <laughs> a cup of Queequeg. <laughs> Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Bye. And download that podcast link. I'm sorry, Zach. God, this was awful. <laughs> Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.